Hi guys, it's Chrissy YouTube Daddy here. Well, it's Monday and welcome to a very windy and cold Blackpool. I've just finished work and it's quarter to, four, quarter to five, so it's 4.45 on a Monday afternoon. I've just finished work and it's really, 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 really windy. So look at the sea out there. Look at how rough that sea is. So I thought we'll go and have a drive up and down the prom and see what's open and what's not. Now it doesn't look like there's a lot open at all because it's just so bad. The wind, you can actually feel the wind uh, and it's calmed down a little bit now. So as soon as I can turn out of here, we will go out and have a look and see what's going on out there or what not going on in the case may be. So we're just coming up to the central pier. As you can see, the back of central pier is completely closed. There's nothing open at all on there, but the front is open. Them uh, bits of grass or whatever they call them, them wind things are well bent over there. So you can see how windy it is there. But there's a bit of a glare as well. You can see the glare coming off the sun. It's saying it's 11 degrees, but it feels a lot colder than that. That wind is like a knife cutting through you today. It's been extremely quiet. And so I'm just looking at the sea now to my left hand side, and it is well rough. So we'll start off here. Silcox is closed, Webster's is closed, the donut place is closed. The Golden Mile Souvenirs closed, Chip Shop's closed, Bubba Foods is closed, Candyland is closed, Tower Gifts is closed, The Coffee Shop's closed, Greedy Zacks is closed, Happy Days is closed, Madame Two Swords is closed, basically everything's closed. Oh no, tell a lie, Funland is open. Um, Gruffalo's is closed. The Golden Mile is open. Well, that's always open. And the uh, Coral Island's obviously open. A couple of stores by Coral Island are open. Yeah, I can really feel that wind. Really feel it. The glass, the spy glass is open. Whatever that is, I'm, I'm not sure. We are open, whatever it is. I don't know if the hotel bit's finished now, but I think it might be just a museum that's open now. Uh, Weather's boot is open. I'm assuming, yeah, the tower looks closed. The problem they have on the front is when the wind gets too bad, you can't open the doors. It becomes like a vacuum and it creates them a problem. I know Pete at Happy Days has some major problems when the uh, when the wind's this high. And it has been consistently high all day. All the shops to the right of me are closed. Hole in the wall, whatever that is. Oh, it's a golf course. Okay, uh, Fuzzy Ducks, souvenir shop that's closed. What's on at Viva Blackpool, closed. Uh, tattoo and piercing closed. The fish and chip shop looks open. It's covered in scaffolding, but it looks open. I'm not quite sure how good this picture is going to come out on this video because it's looking very glary. So basically, most of the things are closed. I've just seen an elephant. Not a real elephant, a, a uh, like an elephant with like lights all over it. This is something to do with going round uh, finding elephants. Uh, something to do with charity, you go round and zap the elephants or something like that. We've got the original elephant in the arcade, uh, we've got the pink elephant. So we've got the original elephant, we've got Jumbo the elephant in the arcade. Uh, Oysters Bar is closed, the chip is closed, Brannigan's is closed. Yates is open. Basically, most of the front is closed. Probably 70% of the front is closed. Let's just have a quick look up here. And then we'll come back. Oh, there's another elephant in front of me. 
I've, I've been reading about this. It's something you go around and you scan the elephant and you're meant to search for the elephant and you can win gifts. Now, uh, elephant farewell weekend. I'm just reading what it says on it. So it's a bride house. Okay, it's a great charity. Okay, it's for bride house. So go round and see if you can find the elephants. The charity's for bride house. I heard it was a charity. I wasn't sure what it was all about. So I've just seen two, and I'm not even looking for them really. All the shops along here are closed. But you see, it is a very, very windy day. I shut at four like normal. We're here on Abington Street now. Most of Abington Street's closed as well. So what we'll do, we'll go down Talbot Road and we'll see what's happening down there. That's the station pub, that's open. Obviously, all the takeaways are closed here. I'm guessing, uh, looking at it, the front of North Pier is open, but the back of it will be closed. We'll go and take a drive up to South Pier. I do apologise about the, uh, the screen. It's just that the, the sun is so bad, it's glaring off my window screen. See if that helps, it'll probably not. It's just really bad glare off my window screen. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see the sea from here, but it is looking well rough. So what you guys up to, it's been ages since I've done a driving video. We've done a lot of live videos lately, but no, uh, uh, no driving video. So I thought I might as well do a driving video because uh, I'm, I'm finishing quite early today. Uh, I'll be open again tomorrow, half 11 till four. I do open, doesn't matter what the weather is. I shut for four months a year and I open to eight months a year. Wayne, wind, wind or snow. I will open when I say I'm open. Yeah, most of the stuff down here is closed, which, I, which is exactly what I would expect, to be fair. And you say slightly different on the front, because the wind actually does me a favour, because when it's really windy on the, back, on the front, people tend to come in the back streets to get away from the wind. And because it's only me, uh, I don't employ anybody, and I've only got a small place as well, so the electricity is not that long. Oh, there's another elephant! There's another elephant! So that's, I think that's three elephants we've seen, four elephants we've seen. Okay, and there's a needar coming down as well, I can see a needar. So they say it's slightly different for me, because I'm a one-man band, so I don't have to do a lot to make it a profit. But when you're on the front and you're paying people 11 quid an hour and your electricity cost is exceptionally high, on days like this you just can't afford to open. But we are still in low season, remember. It'll start to really pick up after May. So we'll take a trip right up to the Pleasure Beach and we'll see what's going on, what up there, on up there. Yeah, that sea is well choppy. Okay, the main fish and chip shop there is shut as well. I don't know if it was open earlier, but I think a lot of stuff was closed earlier as well. As you can see, there's not really a lot of people milling around. But why would you? The only people who'll be on the seafront now are, are YouTubers. <laughs> not me though. Not me, I'll stay in my car where it's nice and warm. So let's see what else is closed. Um, Pat's Bingo's closed, souvenir shops closed, donut place closed. Uh, AJ's Burger Bar, that's never normally closed. That's closed as well. Slots of Fun's closed. 
obviously that's shut down anyway, Fox all shut down anyway. So we're just coming to Manchester Square now. Craggy Dodd's open, obviously, but there's nobody sitting outside. Royal Sea Bank, that'll be open. But again, nobody sitting outside. They took all the tables and chairs in, because there's normally tables and chairs outside for obvious reasons they took them all in because the wind I have seen even down Dale Street uh, rubbish and bins and cardboard boxes uh, flying down Dale Street so I don't know what the wind speed is in here but I, I, I bet it's quite high I'm guessing the Pleasure Beach will be closed as well but I don't think it's open uh, during the week uh, until May anyway I think it may be only open week weekends so when I go home, I'm going to have I've got a, a house viewing tomorrow, as you know. Uh, but I've had a phone call of the estate agents. I've got, to, I've got to finish off the paperwork for selling my house. Oh, my God, I'm not looking forward to that. I've done it before, and you have to answer so many stupid questions. Are you taking the light switches? Are you taking the light bulbs? Are you taking the curtains? Are you taking the lampshades? You have to itemise everything that's staying, everything that's going. Oh, my God. Who's your electricity supplier? Who's this supplier? It's a nightmare. Anyway, we'll carry on with our tour. A lot of the hotels on the front here are going to be closed. Uh, Sugar Sugar's closed, which is a candy shop. Dutchman's closed. The burger bar here on the left-hand side, that's closed. Oh, well, that's, that's a new thing. That's a, uh, a donut store. I haven't seen that's a new donut store. It's closed anyway, but it's a new donut store. Lindy, there's not that many cars outside the Lindy. Normally that place is packed. That's probably the fewest amount of cars I've ever seen outside the Lindy. I'll tell you what, but the sun's coming from my right hand side at the moment, and it is so warm inside my car, uh, but it's so cold outside. Like you say, it says 10, 11 degrees, but it, it's just that wind. It's like a knife cutting through you. Right, let's see. Well, no, let's see if the um, the cod bars is open. Is that what it's called this year? Fish and chips. Oh, the cod bars is open. I think the lights are on. So the cod bars is over. Late diner. That 50 style do diner. That's closed. Mother Hubbard's. Let's have a quick look. I can't work out. I think that's open. Yeah, that's open. Mother Hubbard is open. Rock City. That's closed. That's very rarely closed, that. Uh, the, the Dutton Arm seems to be open. Yep. The Rock Shop there is closed. McDonald's is obviously open. Well, the clairvoyant place, the Romany clairvoyant place, that's closed, so she obviously knew not to come because it was going to be crap today. The Queen's is a hotel, that's open. The Viking will be open. I've not been in there for years. I used to do a cracking show with Buddy Lee. I've not been in there for years. So we'll have a quick look here. Uh, the Toy Shack's closed. Pablo seems to be open, the Chippy. South Pier, again, the front is open, but the back is closed. All these little shops are closed. Obviously, the Velvet Coaster is open. The casino's open, I assume. Yeah, I don't think there's anything open on the Pleasure Beach. I wouldn't have bought so. <coughs> Anybody know <coughs> what's going on? I'm just going to pull over here. Uh, at this arcade here, the arcade on the Pleasure Beach, uh, because they seem to have took all the machines out, and they've all the windows are blanked off now. Now, uh, what did they say? It just says something about delivery. I'm just wondering: are they putting another arcade back in there? Are they completely revamping it, or are they turning it into something else? I've got to admit, I've not done any type of research on it, but there's obviously a skip just there, so they're stripping the place out. Uh, so are they doing it up? To be fair, it was pretty dated. I will, I will admit, it was pretty dated. Uh, so I'm just wondering what they're doing with it. 
So let's see if Pizza Hut is open. A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. That's open. Believe it or not, it's closed. The Happy, let's have a look at Mr. Chippy. See if that's closed. That's closed. Obviously that crypt there, the horror crypt, I think that's shut down actually. I think I've said that in the last video. Uh, please put in the comments if it is shut down. Unlike the other YouTubers, I don't actually do research. I just go out and drive about and I say what I see. And I'm seeing a lot of closed places at the moment. We'll go round past the, uh, these hotels here. And we'll just go past the big blue hotel at the moment. It's meant to be really nice in there. I don't know how expensive it is, but it's meant to be really nice. So we're just going to the uh, side of the Pleasure Beach. And there's the Pleasure Beach station there. So that's the train station, which is for the Pleasure Beach. I've never actually been to that, pleasure, that uh, train station. Mind you, talking to a man who's only just found out after 20 years that there's a, there's a, uh, a train station on Squires Gate. I only found that out when I went to London. I didn't even know there was one there. So we've got the Pleasure Beach to the left-hand side of me and the train track to the right-hand side of me. Yeah, obviously the Pleasure Beach is completely closed, but I don't think that was meant to be open anyway. And we're going to head towards down Bond Street. Now, it doesn't matter what the weather's like in Bond Street. That's always closed. go past the little side streets on the way back. But there's nobody out and about walking either. So on the right hand side of me is a, a car park for the Pleasure Beach. I think, I may be wrong, but I think that may be a, uh, a staff car park. Because I know they use it for storage in there and stuff like that. There's another, uh, this is another Pleasure Beach car park on the left hand side where the hotel used to be. And I'm just heading towards Bond Street now. Just there's another car park. A lot of car parks popping up lately. That's where the uh, tyre place used to be. And we're just going, and this is the, uh, the turning on Bond Street and, uh, oh, what's the road called? Uh, that leads to the people's list. I forgot what it's called now. Whatever road this is, please put in the comments below if you can remember what this road is. Oh, God, I'm sure it begins with an S. Can't see the side. Station Road. Don't bother putting the comments in below, that was Station Road. So that, now on Bond Street. Now that used to be a fantastic chippy there, uh, Bond Street chippy. It's been closed for a few years now, but that used to be one of the best chippies on, around. But it's been closed for a few years now. Nothing changes down here really, or at all. This has just got progressively worse and worse as the time's gone by. There's a couple of shops open, but hardly any now. You've probably seen hundreds of videos of Bond Street, so no point talking about it. It's just basically rubbish. There's nothing open. There's uh, Family Amusements. That's White Sides. Meant to be quite a good amusement in there. Not being in myself. Tattoo shop closed. Now we're heading. We're at the back of Yates's. The Yates's are closed down, and we're at uh, by the Sun Inn. I think it's the Sun. Yeah, the Sun Inn. We're just going to turn back onto the prom on Shore Road. Haven Market. Ooh. Oh, it's open. 
seems to be a, uh, that must be new, seems to be like a tobacconist, like a tobacconist shop. Oh, look, we can see the sea from here. You can see how, I'll just focus in a little bit there. There we go, you can see how rough the sea is. It is well rough. Okay, so we're just gonna go head back down the prom now as soon as I get a gap. And I say, we're just turning onto the prom now off Shore Road. It does sound like I'm starting to know where I'm going, doesn't it? But uh, don't be fooled, guys. It's just because I can see the signs. Yeah, there's not a lot of people staying at all. Not a lot of here at all. There seems to be a few hotels that got skips outside, so there's still there's still a few hotels doing work, getting ready for the main season. If you know how it genuinely works in Blackpool, you have Easter, which is obviously over and done with, but it's always a bit of a flash in the pan in Blackpool. You get about three or four days of decent trade, and then it goes really quiet till the beginning of May. So for the rest of this month, well, it's only a couple of weeks left, it will be quiet. And then it'll start to pick up, and then May, June, and obviously after that, it then gets really, really busy after that. So we're just going past Trafalgar Road on my right-hand side. Again, I've just seen the side. Say what you see. That's what I think of, that my motto will be now. We're going to turn past the Manchester and we'll go onto Rigby Road. Hey, I knew it was Rigby Road without seeing the sign. So we're going past the Crazy Scotch Bar now. There we go, Rigby Road. And we'll go and take a drive down to Central Drive. Why not? I'm only putting off the paperwork that I've got to do for the house, so it gives me an excuse not to be in the house doing the paperwork that I've got to do. So this is obviously where the finishing building them uh, Balamori style houses here, which look absolutely rubbish in my opinion. But I don't like modern houses. You might have a different opinion, but I like old Victorian houses, properly built houses. So this is where McDonald's is. Now, for those of you who can see, and no, uh, they've, they've just put me. They put a star, or they're putting a Starbucks. So it's now called Bloomfield Central. Okay, that's new. So they're turning this area here into a retail park. So you've got a McDonald's here. You've got a Ballantyne's Gym, which have been here for years. They've just built a Starbucks. I'm not sure if it's open yet, but we'll have a quick look when we drive past. Uh, They've obviously got the Bingo 3000. They've got the old cinema there, but I don't know what they're doing with that building. Again, I haven't done any research. They've got the Taco Hell as well. Oh, sorry, Taco Bell. And obviously, if you see the sign there, they've got lots of spaces on the side for different units. So it's going to be very Americanized where they have these little uh, retail units off. Okay, I just completely missed that uh, traffic light then. I, I just wasn't concentrating. But it doesn't matter. Hey ho, you can see to the right hand side of me uh, is some more of them new houses. These are the new houses they're building all over the country and they're building these in Blackpool as well. So this is called Fox Hall Village. No, to be fair, I didn't think the Foxhall Village went out this far. I thought the Foxhall Village finished to the to the left hand side of me. I didn't realise it extended over. Now where that is now, that's where the old uh, coach station used to be, years and years ago. Now, I saw a Coronation Street episode where uh, they they pulled into the old uh, uh, the old uh, train. Uh, bus station and you can see opposite where this new retail park and used to have a big gas and one of these big gas cylinder things there 
but I'm going back in the 80s now. It's completely changed now. Right, hopefully this light will change shortly and I won't miss it this time. Let's go and have a quick look. No, Starbucks isn't open yet, but it doesn't look far off being finished. So we're now just headed towards the central drive. But we won't go that way. We'll go this way. We'll go along here. Let's see what's happening down here. Why not? So we've got Taco Bell on my right hand side. And we just this is obviously all residential housing. Oh my god, they're doing a lot of work up here, aren't they? I don't know what's going on up here. Seems to be loads of uh, cones and stuff. This is the old central working man's club here. So I'm just gonna have to turn around here. So I shall turn around here. Obviously it's closed now. I don't know what they're doing here. Well, they're digging up the road for some reason. This here, just in front of me there, where it's all waste ground now, that used to be a, a, a club as well. I can't remember what the club was called. If anyone remembers what the club was called, please put it in the comments below. Uh, but it, uh, uh, I remember years ago, it got burnt down by the bar steward, apparently. Or, or somebody who worked there, they were basically cooking the books, I think, and they decided to burn it down. They got caught, obviously, but I read it in the paper, so it must be true. Uh, so that used to be a club there, but for the, for the uh, life of me, I can't remember what it was called. I never actually went into that one myself. I went into Central Club, but I never went into that one. Oh, I can't get out here because there's a car parked there. So I'll just reverse up and we'll go out here. So we're here at the back of Bingo 3000, Salt House Avenue. That's where we are. Oh, good houses actually, good solid houses. I don't mind houses like this, you know, properly built houses, but not like these horrible things they build nowadays. So where should we go now? I think we'll turn left here, and then we'll go onto Grasmere Road. So we turn left here on Central Drive now, and then we go onto the little roundabout up here. And then if we take our last turning off, well, last but one turning, that'll take us onto Grasmere Road, where Grasmere Chippy is. I've done a review of that fabulous chippy. Absolutely superb chippy. Really nice. One of them hidden gems that it's more of a local chippy rather than a tourist chippy, because of obviously where it is. But if you do get a chance, pop into Grasmere Chippy. It's definitely worth a visit. So I say on Grasmere Road now. There's a library on the right hand side. No idea if it's still open. Not been into a library for years. I think the last time I went into a library, I got banned out of it. Mind you, I wasn't I was at school at the time. Oh Grasmere Chip is open. I'm not hungry at the moment, so I won't bother popping in there. And this is Revo School. For those of you who know Blackpool, this is what they call the Revo area. And that's the Revo School. And then I think we'll head back along maybe Bloomfield Road. I'm just showing off at the moment that I can remember what these roads are, some of these roads are called. I said I should do after living here for 20 years. And now we're just going to turn down here by Little and then we'll go to Bloomfield Road. So we've got Little on the right hand side here. And that's the Bluefield pub, just there on the left hand side. Oh, you can't really see it yet, so. Bloody 
Did you see that? Pull that right in front of me. Yeah, so I don't know how good this picture is, guys. I apologise for this. It's just, I've got so much... I'm going, to, I'm going to nip to the garage actually because I've got to put, I've run out of water in my windscreen wiper which is not helping. So I'm going to put some water in my windscreen wiper. So we'll finish up at the petrol station where I'll put some water in the windscreen wiper which is just down here on the uh, right hand side. So on the right hand side at the moment I'm outside Bloomfield Medical Centre, the local doctors. Obviously on Bloomfield Road. And just ahead of me up there on the right hand side is the... Uh, Blackpool Football Club uh, Stadium, the Seasiders. Now that's about all I know about football. It's uh, now quarter past five and obviously people are coming out of work now so the roads are getting quite busy. I suppose I better put some water in me, windscreen wipers, and then I better go home and do the paperwork of the house. Also, I'll have the estate agent on me back again tomorrow. I've done about a quarter of it so far, but it's so brain numbingly boring. Oh my god, it's so boring. I forgot how busy it's been 20 years since I've sold, bought a house, sold a house. So I forgot how brain numbly boring the paperwork is. So this is Central Drive again, and I'm just going to go onto the petrol station here and fill up my uh, water tank for my windscreen wipers, which is free here, which is always good. Some places charge, but it's free here. This is my local petrol station anyway, this is the one I use. And they've got a valeting service here as well. Seems to be all right, to be fair. So I shall just go here, and I shall just fill up my water. Free water. Turn off after use. Okay then. Right, don't forget guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there's anywhere you want me to go for a drive, please let me know. And that was a quick video to see what was open and what was closed. And say what you see in Blackpool. See you later, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and hit that notification bell.